What I wanted to talk to you about is the um, importance of wing clipping when um, training your bird. Now, most of the time I don't recommend wing clipping, um, but when you're first starting to work with a bird and develop a relationship with that animal, um, and specifically try and teach him some tricks, um, what you'll want to do is you can go get um, a professional wing trim done or um, look it up. You want to be very, fairly conservative and make sure that when you do trim their wings, they have enough flight to not hurt themselves if they fall down um, in, in attempts to escape or you know just when they're frightened. The reason is that most of these birds, if they've decided that they're tired of a session or um, you want to work with them in other places, you're going to spend a lot of time chasing them down when they decide that, you know, your sister in the other room or, you know, something out the window is more interesting than your training session. It sort of helps focus their attention a little bit um, on you and, um, and on the session. Um, after that, go ahead and let their wings grow out. It can teach them, um, you know, then you can start uh, worrying about more advanced behaviors such as flying towards you and that sort of thing. But in the beginning, I do find that it is a little bit easier to train a bird if you trim their wings beforehand. Um, some birds, if you've got a bird like Missy Bird, you don't need to trim their wings at all. But in particular with budgies and cockatiels um, and lovebirds, it's very, very hard to hold their attention if they can simply just fly away and look for food or attention somewhere else.